Did we say compact EDC with one inch sensor or smaller? You're in the right place. Everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from south of France and today I wanted to show you a little comparison just to show how it changes dramatically the image quality with the size of the sensor and so I'm comparing the Lumix LX15 which I'm using right now to record this episode to the teeny tiny sensor I have on my Motorola smartphone. Why is that? Because we know that we all have smartphones in our pockets nowadays everywhere we go so this is very useful and handy if you want to snap pictures or record videos even 4k and smartphones have plus because they have face recognition but they are over sharpened, they are over using HDR and a few other things that I don't really like so this is why I went for a compact and lightweight EDC instead because this is like not having it in the pockets but with the one inch sensor the quality of the videos of the recordings of the photos changes dramatically and then you have a shallow depth of field because this is, has a one f1.4 max aperture while smartphones they tend to over have a bigger depth of field because of the tiny sensor and so they cannot really change the way you do your composition and blur the background and so I went for you visiting a few different places here in south of France I visited Porquerol which is the island that you don't see at my back because it's covered by the tree and then I visited one of the most beautiful beaches here in the region which is called L'Estagnol and then you will see okay it was not the same day so when I was at the beach we had a bright day but plenty of wind while when I went to the island it was a bit cloudy and cover which I prefer because otherwise the sun will kill you but then uh, so you cannot really see saturation but you can see the difference in, in quality so this is not really a trick for you to understand which is which like I initially imagined doing in this video and I recorded this video already but I was so lazy that I didn't have a proper mic muffled and so in the very end there was too much wind I was not even able to clean out what I said so I'm showing you fractions of recordings and photos that I've taken with the two just to compare just for fun and not saying of course the Lumix is superior compared to the smartphone but a smartphone is it good enough because it's very handy we always have it with us so you let me know down here in the comments what smartphone are you using what compact camera are you using and if you're looking for a compact EDC for this summertime because let's face it we are all willing to travel this summertime and we're all willing to snap memories of our vacations and of our travels so if you're ready let's go rolling yes it's a bit windy so i will try to clean out the noise from that it's this beach it's called Estagnol and yesterday i visited the island that is called Porquerol So as you can see I had so much fun despite with the camera of course I had to put an ND filter on top of it and then I'm forced to use the wireless go to mic because the internal mic is not good enough while with the smartphone I just put my headphones on in case I don't have wind and then the Adobe Enhance is able to clean the background noise so 
you win some and you lose some. Just be aware of the composition of the gear that you need with this compact EDC. I'm basically just having an ND filter in front of it when I want to record video and of course a tripod or a standee or a monopod or whatever. I don't have to hold it because this tape is not good enough for me to vlog with it while with the smartphone I could eventually also walk around vlogging, put it on a selfie stick and that's it with the headphones wired, not wireless, you're basically done. The image quality has a compromise but you are winning something else such as the blur background that they do digitally and this tape which is far superior in the smartphone compared to this old EDC but there are new cameras coming and being released and announced every single day so stay tuned because we're gonna follow the, the release of the Leica Deluxe 8 of the Nikon Z6 Mark III and all the other new news Panasonic I saw it's struggling here and there so let's follow together the releases that are coming for this summertime so with that I hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on your social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come and I guess I will see you later thank you bye bye